Here are your hosts, Cam and Kobe. Welcome to the Casual Preppers Podcast, the only place for prepping, survival, and entertainment. We're your hosts, Cameron and Kobe, and we're ready to bring survival goodness direct to your dirty little (laughs) a-holes. (laughs) <laughs> that's just not right it's not right but it is what it is <laughs> all right good thing you have the explicit on there. i know what's going on buddy <laughs> well it's a scary month it is it's the scariest month of them all yeah when so it comes down to we it. decided to just get you guys some education on the scaries and how yeah. to deal with all the scaries out yeah, there yeah this episode's just on scaries yeah. so what is it what what are we talking about witches today? <laughs> witches witches and hags mm, so scary <laughs> um yeah so we're going to talk about we figured like, why wait for the halloween episode yeah. this whole month we're going this at is it. how you're going to be prepped for mm-hmm. every hag witch huh Poor <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so we're going to talk about lots, Don't of rhyme cool, with it. lots of cool stuff. But Get first, guys, today's podcast is brought to you by Tac Pack, the only monthly tactical subscription box with useful professional grade stuff inside. Get 10% off your first Tac Pack with our code casual preppers at tacpack.com. Enjoying the thousands of satisfied subscribers today. You're going to get 10% off with our code casual preppers if you go to tacpack.com. You are, and we're mm. going to show you what you get. Mm, well, yeah. We can do it right now. Sure, man. You're you know, the boss. Show you. you run this thing. You know, I'm just here. I'm along Why don't for the we go ride. right after the advertisement and show you? Yeah, let's do it. Here we got one right here. You got the little card. Let me check that. Oh, this is for the... Let me get that card. All right, so Tac Pack today. The first thing is the EX Performance Adjustable M4 Style Stock. And if Pretty you, and if, sweet. If you like sexy things, you're going to like this. Yeah. I bet you can twist it on your crutch. We were yeah. talking about We're that. talking about that's perfect for a little crutch adjustment. Yeah. Yeah. It looks nice. I like it. Yeah. So it's it's great, great, great little thing. Great, 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 thing. great. Then we got the OST Target Silhouette Kit, $23 value. So this basically, is kind of a cool deal. Yeah. So it's it's like You're tired stencils. of ruining your targets? Yeah. <laughs> It's a stencil kit for targets. We can make a new target. Yeah. We need got to get a one that on here. Got a preppers. gun. I guess you can shoot guns. I don't <laughs> why know would why. you shoot a gun? I don't get it. I'll shoot that gun on your hand. Yeah. That's probably what they do. And there's a hand, too, isn't there? Yeah, you can make a hand. That's kind of cool. Then there's the Tactical Bivy, a $20 value. These are, are all, yeah, they're great. Yeah, you want a bivy, but then sometimes you want it tactical style. So then you get the Tactical Bivy, just like that one. I wonder like what the difference the tactical one is. It's just not as quick and, and sleek. I think. I don't know. Oh, it's got a whistle in it. <laughs> All tactical babies have whistles. Do they really? I don't know. It's, just, it's a whistle. I have no idea. Well, I'm just saying what makes it different. And then there's it's a couple. got a whistle, uh. and it's got paracord drawstring, oh, carabiner. Go. Yeah. Lightweight. Good stuff. Windproof. Uh-huh. Heat echo technology. Mm-hmm. And then there's the AR Shorty sticker. Um, There's a sticker in there. Did oh, you, is that the one it. you stole already? I, I had to put that one Jeez. on something. And then there's the Area 51 patch. Is that still in there? Yeah, this one's Cool sweet. patch. I actually posted a picture of this a while ago on Instagram, I think, and Facebook. Yep. So what does it say? What does it say on there? It says, come and take it, Area 51 Raid 2019. And it's got like a little like laser oh, gun there or something. Is a camera over there? I'm just holding yeah. this up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't, it looks all weird. Don't you worry about it. It's good. Um. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the uh, TAC pack. Yeah, this went this month. That's so. a good dilly. You exactly. guys can get ten percent off that if you want it. Okay, great, great, great. So, Cam, we decided we're going to take the entire month of October and we're going to talk about really cool Halloween scary stuff. So, if you're looking for prepping advice, you might want to go to an old episode because <laughs> yeah. this is not going to be prepping. Rewind. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, uh, let's talk about witches. Yeah. Which witches we talking about? All the witches. <laughs> Which witch is which? <laughs> yeah. So um, let's talk about what is a witch. You know what I mean? We yeah. need to know that definition before we get rolling. So the traditional definition of a witch is a woman thought to have magic powers, especially evil ones. Yeah, that's key, evil. Yeah. Uh, popularly depicted as wearing a black cloak, a pointed hat, and flying on a broomstick. That's what we all think of when we yeah, think about a, witches, Yeah, that's right? the uh, classic. Yeah. Also, they say one that is credited with usually malignant supernatural powers, especially a woman practicing usually black witchcraft, often with the aid of a devil or a familiar. They oh, call yeah. We'll talk about familiars later on. I know. I've heard about the familiar. Or sometimes they call them a sorceress. Yeah. That's when they're feeling fancy or saucy. Like, I'm a sorceress. I'm not a witch. Yeah, it's like a warlock and a wizard. It is. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. I One's agree. way cooler. Uh-huh. <laughs> One ruins Christmas for Santa Claus. I know. It's ridiculous. Cr- the winter war. <laughs> um, so that's kind of like the traditional witch. Yeah. But did you know there actually are modern witches? Yeah. 
Yeah. You, mm-hmm. you did know that, right? I have seen them. <laughs> you have. <laughs> you've you've treated them at the clinic, yes. probably. Yeah, huh? they, they were customers. Wart they removal. were not nice. <laughs> wart. <laughs> Is that what you usually That hairy wart keeps coming back. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Skin's um, a weird green. So look, modern witch. Let's talk about what a modern witch is. Uh, th- they say, in general, witches today can be defined in three ways. Someone who actively practices magical rituals or spells. So there are people that are yeah, still doing this. This is are. like a legit thing. No, for sure. Someone who has a spiritual connection such as a psychic medium or a tarot reader. That's those cards that have all the funky stuff on them. And they're tarot. Tarot, yeah. Tarot reader. Yeah, or someone who worships the pagan gods. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I said, mm, but that's what mm. it is. The reality of what it means to be a witch today carries many traditions of the pagan religion, Some something which was previously thought to be tied to the devil or satanic rituals. Modern-day witchcraft often includes the lighting of candles. So if your wife is lighting candles, you got to be careful. She's going to cast some spell on you. Yeah, she's just pagan gods and spells and stuff. you got to be careful. You will dislike video games forever. <laughs> Burn no, six candles. No more PS4. Uh, <laughs> they do meditation. They do yoga. Oh, I know. My wife's been doing witchcraft forever. I know. Can you imagine if she's doing yoga with the candles on? You don't know what the hell's going to happen. <laughs> Incense, the smudging of sage. I'm all about to disappear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crystals. <laughs> Crystals. Dream analysis. So you got to oh. be careful if they're like trying to tell you what your dreams are about. Like, hey, I don't need this witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I usually hear about the dream. Do you? Oh, so. But is she an, a, analyzing her own the dream? dream? Is she analyzing it, though? Well, not her own. Not her own. She's just telling it. It doesn't about mean it. nothing, but I'm made out with these, like, six <laughs> yeah. other guys. Wait, what? Me and Dax Shepard were making out, and <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> um, uh, so it says, however, witchcraft is simply about using the power of the universe and the mind to attract wants and desires. Ooh. That's what the modern witches say. It's about being in tune with the Earth's natural resources and using them to mystically quench a spiritual thirst. <laughs> quench. <laughs> mm. see all That's these, what I wanted. You see all these Earth's natural resources? It's going to quench my spiritual thirst. I feel like we might be giving some women listeners <laughs> an ability to <laughs> some ideas. control men more. I know. It's kind of scary. Ladies, don't, don't try this. It's not worth it. These are not proven. Yeah. So let's talk about... Yeah, so like, witches in the history of the world. Uh-huh, yeah. So actually, they go back like 900 B.C. or earlier. That's so a long time. Did you know they're even mentioned in the Bible? I thought I had read the Bible. And <laughs> apparently <laughs> apparently there's some witches. Yeah. So, like, it, early What's the story. Verse? <laughs> what version book? I want to go look it up. Witches or snitches? <laughs> verse 7. <laughs> Matthew, verse 7. <laughs> Chapter 1, verse 7. Um, so, no, uh, in the history, in with King Saul, he actually consulted with a witch of Endor. No. To summon a dead prophet. Was she in the Battle of Endor? To help him defeat the Philistine army. <laughs> Witches were perceived as evil beings in early, like, early Christianity. But yeah. before then, they were like sorceresses. Mm. And they would kind of give advice. They were healers. Mm. So witches have always had that. So they're like, like a therapist. They're, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Apparently, I'm a warlock. <laughs> You're a warlock, yeah. You know that. Mm. A warlock's assistant. <laughs> 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 I'm a WA. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a WA. <laughs> um, but yeah, so in the early, early history, witches mm-hmm. were like sources. They would, you know, use spells and things to actually help and heal. And, and mm. not until Christianity, which ruined oh. witches all together. It's all their fault. Was in Europe, like the 1300s, 1400s is when witch hysteria like took over. Mm-hmm. And the big culprit was a book called the Malleus Maleficarum. Ooh. Which means the witch's hammer. Oh, geez. Boom. <laughs> the Malleus Maleficarum. Right? So this was written in uh, in Germany by two like, um, they're kind of like monk, oh, like priest guys. Yeah. And yeah, basically they witch were haters. witch haters, yeah. and they like were very specific in this book to of how to hunt and how to like tell if it was a witch, mm-hmm. and you know basically how to handle it. So, like one part of the book I put in here. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't sound sexist at all. <laughs> what else is a woman but a foe to friendship? Wrote the monks. <laughs> they are evil, lecherous, vain, and lustful. All witchcraft comes from carnal lust, which is in women insatiable. Insatiable. <laughs> insatiable. Insatiable. I'm thinking like, it's, it's taste. It can't taste. It's not good. That's evil. It's insatiable. <laughs> that doesn't taste very good. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, insatiable. Yeah, <laughs> I read that last night, and a then I still screwed it up. A photo friendship. That's so. Awesome. Yeah, it's like total sexist. I think these guys were just ugly, couldn't get a woman, yeah. and they're like, I hate all women, they're witches. They're all witches. Let's, let's write a them. book. Let's kill them all. Let's write a book about it. Anyway, this book for 100 years was second only to the Bible and the most popular oh of gosh. books. Like, isn't that crazy? That's a ton. Like an Amazon bestseller type it thing? It was. It was like London bestseller, mm. Rome bestseller, yeah. two years running. Jeez. But yeah, um... So anyways, they created this book, was basically a witch hunt book, yeah. and then from there, like, chaos ensued with the whole witch hunt and all that. Yeah. Um, here in the United States, one of the most famous was, like, the Sa the Salem Witch Trials. Mm -hmm. So apparently, these two little girls looked into, like, this generic crystal ball and saw a coffin and then just, like, went into, like, seizures and It was, like, a generic convulsive. crystal ball. Yeah. It wasn't even, like, high end. Yeah, no, it was... <laughs> Just generic. Just a rock. <laughs> and it wasn't even crystal. It's a limestone. That's all it <laughs> yeah. was. Um, and they went like weird. They went like convulsive and mm. were having, probably puking on the ceiling and just chaos. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just know? like that. Anyways, the dad was like pissed and was like, ah, there's witches. And the easiest <laughs> targets were the household slaves. You know, it's like, you, 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 you're all witches. <laughs> And anyways, there was all these trials, and there was like 200-plus women, mm -hmm. and even men, too, that were accused of being witches. 19 died, or were, like, hung. Yeah. And six men, too. Jeez. Um, but what's funny about this is, well, not funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But what's crazy is, like, they were pointing fingers. Like, you know, people just started going crazy, like, you're a witch. Yeah. You're a witch. And then what happened is the governor's wife was accused of being a witch. Oh. And they're like, no, we're done with this. <laughs> no more trials. Never mind. There's so, no witches. <laughs> so it ended there. I know she's a witch, but I can't kill her. <laughs> so anyways. It's in my um, contract. Supposedly, too, I don't know if this is true, but uh, Benjamin Franklin, like, wrote an article about, like, how ridiculous it was, witches really? and stuff. And they think that that led, too, to, like, the dying off of the witch hysteria mm. but anyway so really old witches mm -hmm. they were like good and helpers and then it got to like they're bad they're dumb they want to because the they witch taste, monks. they taste funny yeah <laughs> yeah um so yeah they uh that book basically caused them to be evil and that's what we know mm. them, uh today um a wicca wicca is actually yeah. a modern day uh religion i didn't know it was a religion yeah but a wiccan which makes sense mm -hmm. um is they're like they have they're a good witch apparently the wiccans are supposedly they believe that um like their whole thing is to avoid evil and to do no harm to anybody mm. not that this always happens i've yeah, heard sure. stories and I, when i was looking for witch stories i was like wiccan knives and stuff were used to like kill people yeah and it's not the wiccan way but apparently <laughs> it's not that wicked. So, anyways, man. they get their spells and stuff from the Book of Shadows. I'd read that book. 20th century collection of wisdom and witchcraft. Mm. Found on Amazon. <laughs> it probably is. Um, and can be compared to the, the Book of, of Shadows. Of see like, if it's on Amazon. Yeah, I do. <laughs> a prayer. It's basically like a prayer book. It, yeah. Similar to other religions. But I don't know. If you're a Wiccan, you might be mad at what I'm saying to you here, but. But the witchcraft and the spells are actually used, you know, to, like, help and, and do no harm, so. Oh, yeah, you can buy it. Can you? Yeah. How much is it? Well, you can get a paperback for 12 bucks. Oh, dang. <laughs> yeah, true. You get 12 bucks and you got. Well, then you can buy of... ones that are charmed, whatever that means. And then, yeah, I don't know, man. That, sounds yeah, sounds pretty weird. good. They're, they're just books good. of spells is what it says. Yeah. Interesting. Well, interesting. Yeah. So, apparently, you know, they use these spells and herbs and stuff to do good. Yeah. They're good witches. Cool. And then um, there's witch doctors, too, which still practice today in in uh, Africa strongly, but in other countries, See, too. you know, I heard when you call the witch doctor, he says, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> ding, dang. Right? Bottle on a bing, bang, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. uh, but let was... me tell you two stories real quick about okay. some witch doctors. Okay. So in Ghana, a Ghanaian, I don't know how to say it, Ghana. Um, witch doctor was sought by a group of 15 men. That wanted to be bulletproof so that they could <laughs> they could challenge some rival uh, tribes. Oh, that's a good idea. So this is this is in two thousand one. Um, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get some oil and some herbs, rum all over you for two weeks, oh and then gosh. you're bulletproof. And so they did it. 
And before they went <clears throat> to fight this other rival gang, they're like, let's try it out. And they Big shot well, one guy and killed him. Should we test this out? Yep, they did. It goes. So they decided to test it, and they shot the one one of their guys and killed him. And well, they got pissed and went and beat the witch doctor almost to death. Why didn't they try it on like an I don't a know leg or something? I don't know. They're like, let's shoot it around the forehead. Boom. Right in the forehead. If he's uh, bulletproof, it's going to be fine. <laughs> no, they probably aim for his heart. <laughs> Who do we hate least in this? <laughs> most in this group. Yeah. 2016 in China, Jeez. there's a witch doctor, too. That That's was, recent. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, this man brought his very sick wife to the witch doctor, and he's like, what do we do? I want to get, and he's like, well, she's possessed. We need to get the evil out of her. Oh, yeah. So he decided, you know, the best way to do it is like, he had like this metal cauldron, uh -huh. and then he had like a wood thing that goes inside it, and he's like, we're going to boil the water. Steam's going to come up around and seep through the wood. It's going to uh -huh. be like a sauna. Oh. It's going to push all those evil spirits out. Oh, that's the way So you do they, it. like, tuck her down in there. <laughs> tuck her down <laughs> in there. And they start it up. Yeah. And it starts steaming and everything. And yeah. she's screaming. He's like, no, 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 that's fine. <laughs> it's getting the evil spirits that's out. That's just the evil coming out. And she's screaming. And then when she stopped, they're like, he was getting, the husband was like, well, I'm getting a little nervous. They open it up, and she was, like, charred. Like, her skin was brown, face was blue, and she died, like, an hour later. And think. the witch doctor disappeared. Of course. He's like, screw this. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> I thought I was on to something. Cooking I humans. I don't have my witch doctor's insurance. I better get out of here. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah. witches, witch doctors still practice today. Mm -hmm. Wiccans apparently do good witchcraft. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, maybe maybe someday they'll be back to their holy. Yeah. But nowadays, you know, I think it's like men are like, I don't want them to be mm. good and helping people. <laughs> That's what only they say. Only men can do that. Oh, only men can do that. So witches are bad. <clears throat> oh, yeah, man. Fly around. So the, the thing is, is how do you know, like, when there's a witch, when you see a witch? Like, what are the ways that she's people... Yeah, and the people... She's on a broomstick going yeah, over... <laughs> that's the obvious way that everybody knows. <laughs> is that a witch? <laughs> oh, yeah, she's on a broomstick. Probably. Or by the moon, dumb dumb. Could be, but of course it is. So <clears throat> in the past, there's been some ways that people have figured out, oh, I know how to do, figure out if she's a witch. <laughs> yeah. So, one of the ways they used to do is they used to make a witch cake. Mm. It sounds delicious, and it's not like for Friday night parties that you take. <laughs> and It's like a fruit cake. It's a witch cake. So, basically, what you do with this is you take the urine of people <laughs> who are thought to be under the spell of a witch. So, it's a piss cake. It, yeah. <laughs> it's a it's, it's cake made out of pee. Um, so you take that urine. If you think that someone is under the spell of a witch, so you have them pee in a bottle, apparently, and you mix it with a rye meal, and you make a little patty. Imagine making patty cake. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Stirring patty cake. that into some. So when you have this little urine witch cake, you feed it to a dog. Oh. Yeah, so the dog just um, eats it all up, right? <laughs> And so, basically, nom, nom. because some of the powers that the witch used to cast a spell on the afflicted people were in the urine. So, apparently, it's a lot like, you know, uh, bad things in your body that you can do urine tests on. The witch powers come out in your pee, apparently. So, when the dog eats the cake, it actually hurts the witch. Whoa. So, you, yeah, you give it to the dog and you watch the so witch. your neighbor's like, ah! Yeah, you're like, oh, I knew it. <laughs> yeah. Butthole. So she'll cry out in agony if she is a witch. Wow. So Sounds pretty legit. No, it's really not that hard to do. So That's you like might number as well try one. It. I know. <laughs> you might as well try it. Start with the best. Yeah. So um, just think about that if you, if, you, if you come upon somebody you think's under a spell. Because I think you got to kill the witch or have like an anti-witch spell. <laughs> you got some of those later on, don't you? I'm going to ask my patients that. <laughs> yeah. You've been having Good some idea. issues? Yeah. Let's take your pee. I'm going to make some cake. Let's make some witchy cake. <laughs> uh, so another one you can do, which they used to do all the time, is you weigh them against a stack of Bibles. Mm. So you get a whole bunch of Bibles. How many Bibles? Well, it depends on how heavy they are. <laughs> so basically, you have, to, <laughs> you have to be able to balance them perfectly with a stack of Bibles. That's hard. And so, like, if you get close... Let's rip out this chapter. Yes, yeah, so if, if you're just, like, if they're just a little too light and you put on another Bible... And they're just a little too heavy, and you can't get it to balance. They're a witch. <laughs> that's so. That's the thing. But if, that's modern day physics. Yeah. So if you can get it to balance perfectly with some Bibles, <laughs> she's good. It's impossible. Yeah. And I guess that depends on like which is it a King James version? What is it? You know what I mean? So that's you gotta, true. You got to be careful there. But that's a way you can figure out if they're a witch or not. So you yeah. just got to get one of those okay. scales. And, I got to get a bunch of Bibles. Yeah. Just get a pallet from Amazon or something, just in case. <laughs> 
you know. Man, might come across a <laughs> heavy witch. Yeah, she's a big old fat witch. <laughs> Ain't got enough Bibles to even check it out. <laughs> so, um, another thing you can do, and this one, this is pretty. It, it's a surefire way to tell she's a witch. <laughs> you check for moles, birthmarks, scars, or extra nipples. <laughs> And these are these are usually called, you know, of witches' course, teats. Of course, it's an extra nipple. They call them witches' teats. Um, so basically, <laughs> what these are is this is obviously some man. <laughs> first thing first, look at her boobs. How many nipples she got? <laughs> she got an extra one. <laughs> well, they look fine. <laughs> well, Ed, you're good to you go. Any moles or anything? <laughs> yeah. So these basically they're called marks of the devil. Apparently, so if you got an extra nipple, if you got a birthmark. They're saying <laughs> so an extra nipple, yeah, is a mark of the devil, or a scar Ooh. even. But the extra nipple thing, the witch's teat is What's the with biggest the scars. One. I don't know, but Had the my biggest appendix one. out. No, I didn't. You're a witch. Yeah, that's a hernia, man. That's a nipple. <laughs> I had a cesarean, <laughs> cesarean sex. No, I didn't. You're a witch. So the 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 witch's teat, the extra nipple is the biggest one. Um, <laughs> so if you find one of those, it's called Depends the mark of the devil. Big. So what they say is, if you find one, you get a blade. A knife of some sort, okay? And you poke it. And if it doesn't bleed, you, she's definitely a witch. <laughs> you poke the third nipple? Yeah. You have to poke it or, like, kind of, you know, scar it a little bit. And, and if it doesn't bleed, she's not. She's a, she's a witch. But if it does Jeez, bleed, she's mess. fine. <laughs> I know. It's totally messed up. So some, some, there was witch hunters back in the day during the Salem witch Just trials. A little- a little scratch. Yeah. No, no bleedy. So during the witch trials, there was those witch hunters, and they actually had, some of them had, like, the retractable blade knives that you poke and they would come in. Jeez. You know? And so they would do that. They're oh. Like, Look, she didn't bleed. We got burner. <laughs> but, like, it was just a retractable blade. Oh, man. So, I know. It's insane. That's my normal nipple. Oh. <laughs> sorry. Well, sorry. It's bleeding. You're good to go. <laughs> um. So, they, well, a lot of times, these these witch hunters, they would strip the suspects naked. Of they course. Would, that's they, what I was going to say. They would shave their entire body and publicly examine them for Satan's brands, as they called them. Oh, that is an easy way for a pedophile or a creepy. Yeah. And so, these extra, sex offender. these extra nipples, apparently... They were used to suckle their animal helpers or their familiars, as I've they're called. I've seen that, like pictures of like, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't looking for them, for you listeners. <laughs> yeah. But I've yeah. seen like pictures. Of that them. was in the fetish section. It was weird. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so the extra nipple, that's a Block big. Blockbuster adult DVD section. <laughs> yeah. that, that one's a big giveaway, especially if it bleeds. That's if it doesn't bleed. Giveaway. If it doesn't bleed, she's a witch. Um, okay. Another one is to ask them to recite the Lord's Prayer because a witch can't do it. Yeah. They can't say it. But back in the day during the Salem witch trials, there was actually one dude who was, you know, getting ready to be hanged and he actually said it. And they were like, what? He's not a warlock. What's going on? <laughs> He's like, no, no. This guy said uh, the devil helped him with that one. <laughs> and so then they killed him. So, anyways, but if they Somebody can't, wanted him dead. Yeah. So if they can't recite the Lord's Prayer, that's another one. That you got to be worried about. Unless Satan helps them. Um, another thing is bleeding. If if a suspected witch had murdered someone, um, what you do is you take the witch, you make her place the hands on the dead body, and, and then it'll it, start bleeding. And if it was if it was uh, if she did kill the witch or the witch did kill him, then they would start bleeding after they were dead. Weird. Yeah. So that's a thing. Um, <laughs> so the familiar spirits we talked real about. hard. <laughs> yep. The, the familiar spirits, the things that suckle the witch's teat, right? <laughs> um, okay. So you have to be careful. You have to look at if there's any animals in this suspected witch's presence, you know, here and there. Um, these these familiars are used by witch to assist in their evil deeds. Mm. <clears throat> so traditionally, um, they use like toads or cats or rabbits. Those are those are the three big ones, but they've also well, like used a cat lady, you know. How yeah. would you know? You you well, we're telling you how you know. Seems seems too hard. Yeah. So, um they've also used snakes and black dogs oh. too. So those are ones you have to worry about. Sometimes a familiar is even a human. And mm. so those ones are called demons actually. They're actually just a demon. Are they little? <clears throat> I don't know. Okay. But they suckle on the witch's teat. <laughs> um, so back in the 16th century in Essex, um, a lady named Agnes Waterhouse, she went to the gallows because her cat, Satan was the name of the cat, um, uh, killed her neighbor's hogs and a cow. Wow. And ruined the beer and butter 
of their neighbor. Oh my gosh. And so you gotta be careful. Is this a panther? <laughs> no, it's just a cat. <laughs> just a cat named Satan. <laughs> so those are some ways and some things to look at. Um <laughs> it's the what a name. I know. Mm, Lucifer Satan? I think Satan. I'll go with be. Satan. <laughs> So we talked about the modern-day witches, Cameron, um, and I actually found an article by a modern-day witch. She's a Wiccan, um, and so she said, look, if you're out in public and you want to know if somebody is a witch. Oh, yeah, she was a former witch. Mm -hmm. I saw this. No, I think she's a current witch. Oh, is she a current one? Yeah, I think she's a current. There was one lady that wrote being a former witch. Oh, okay. And it was like. Yeah. So, like, if you're out and about, you know, some of these things, like you're out shopping, you know, Old Navy or something, you can't just go check for extra nipples. You can't weigh them, <laughs> you know, with Bibles. Like, you just can't do that in public. You're awfully suspicious. <laughs> Can you show me? Yeah, you got two or three? Show me. Show me. Two, three. Yeah. Hey, two, three. <laughs> so, but there's some other ways that you can actually spot a modern-day witch. So, the first thing to do is look at her jewelry, Cameron. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Apparently, witches are always wearing magical jewelry. That's something that they do. Um... So, uh, but you got to be careful because sometimes people just like jewelry. So yeah. it's it's a very hard thing. Um, but if they're wearing something like a pentacle necklace, you know what the <laughs> that's a big one. Or moon. I feel like we're gonna get some people arrested. <laughs> I know. Moon jewelry. Don't. <laughs> that's a big one. Be very careful. Here. So if they got like earrings that look like a moon, you got to be careful. Oh yeah, with I've that. seen that. Uh, runes, crystals, all of those kinds of things. It's just it's suspicious. So What's rune. I'd say I'd say you're like. I thought 90. rune was like moon. A rune is like some sort of like a a, a star rock of some, some sort. Oh. I think. Okay. Um, so you know, if you're seeing somebody with moon jewelry, they got a pinnacle. I mean, most likely they're going to be a witch. So you just have to be careful. Mm-hmm. Another okay. thing is you can look at the clothes they're wearing. Mm-hmm. That's a big thing. Um, Which- <laughs> so she says sometimes we're out in public, you'll see somebody rocking a witchy vibe outfit. <laughs> so I mean, you know, you just kind of get that witch vibe mm. from some people. She got to be a witch. tattered. Had a dress. Yeah. So it's cut out in the middle where the broom goes. <laughs> yeah. So if they're wearing a lot of black, green, or brown, it's a dead giveaway. They're gonna be a witch. Oh, okay. But I mean that's I mean that's like camo, isn't it? <laughs> right? That's true. <laughs> Hunting season, there's lots of witches there about. Witches all over the yeah. mountains. So they also like to wear the shawls. We all know that. Lace up boots, oh, yeah. fishnet leggings. Forest green shirts, apparently. Brown flowy skirts. These are all witch clothes. These are all prostitutes. <laughs> yeah, they are, yeah. <laughs> so just be looking for those. Um, another thing is the auras and the, and the vibes that you get. She says sometimes finding a witch in public is as simple as getting a witchy vibe from someone. You know? <laughs> it they sounds they like... might look completely normal, not have any witchy stuff on, or have anything that hints at them at being a witch, but you might just get a really strong magic vibe from them. Oh, yeah. You know, have you ever just been like buying a drink at the corner store and you're just like, ooh, what's... you're on public transportation? You're yeah. like, this is witchy in here. How long have you been a witch? Yeah. You casting a spell right now? <laughs> you're listening to a podcast. I can't tell. Um, that mole's a giveaway <laughs> on your face. You had a teat or a mole? <laughs> hmm? Is it on your face? It's weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then she says also, if you can read auras, this might help in yeah. public. I mean, makes sense. I've, you just, that's something you have to practice, though. You can't just go out and start reading auras today. Doesn't doesn't work that way. <clears throat> okay, another thing is <laughs> journals and books. That's a big one. Uh, you see a girl across the room scribbling in a notebook. Okay, <laughs> she's glancing around every once in a while to make sure nobody's looking at what she's writing. She might have her notebook at an angle where if someone was next to her, they couldn't eat, read it. Right? She might be a witch. <laughs> that's what I'm. That's what she's saying. She might be a witch writing in her book of shadows. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, I know. So <sighs> no know, one's ever private. Yeah, I mean, are they reading a book about herbs or crystals? That's a dead <laughs> giveaway. That's a weirdo. Are, <laughs> herbs and crystals. Fourth edition, you know. <laughs> this is interesting. Maybe they're reading a book on psychic ability or intuition. Mm. You're thinking about that? Or perhaps they're straight up looking at a book about spells. Yeah. If it says book of spells, duh, that's a witch, all right? Or maybe like tarot card reading or anything <laughs> like that. So you just have maybe, to be. Maybe they're on WebMD. They could Nip be. Nipple or mall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Unknown. So um, have you ever heard of a sigil? Can't no. A vigil? Yes. A sigil. What's a sigil? A sigil is an inscribed or painted symbol considered to have magical power. Mm. So always, always, always when you're out, look at people's arms and hands. This is kind of like a situational awareness thing, apparently. Just stare at people. 
If they're a witch, long periods. If they're a witch, they might have sigils written on their skin. Uh. So that's something you got to look at. Um, she says, I know that when I write sigils, I usually write them on my hands or my arms, she says, even when I'm going out in public. She's not worried about people seeing them. Um, so that's just something you need to be worried about. Okay. So tattoos, look at them. Do they look witchy? Is that a grocery list or is that Yeah, a exactly. Sigil? Okay, one of the things, too, is smell. Witches oh. have a certain smell to them. A good um, one or a bad one? Well, you know, she says, as a witch, you're probably very used to the smells of herbs and essential oils. Oh. But if you pass someone on the street or in a shop, they they smell strongly like an essential oil or herb, they could be a witch. Huh. Yeah. So I wonder herbs. if Deuterra is a witchcraft. That's what I'm saying. It could be. <laughs> um, so that's one of those things you need to think about. You go buy someone, you can smell Ulta's herbs. Ulta's a witch store. S- smell herbs, you know. Oh, Maybe yeah. it's Kentucky Fried Chicken. Maybe she's a witch. <laughs> I don't know. Is that bacon? Um, did you know that left-handed people are most likely, are more likely to be a witch? Oh, didn't know that. That's something to be thinking about. It says being a lefty has been linked with witchcraft for centuries, and in more morbid circles, is called called the mark of the devil. A witch, a left-handed, a left-handed is? person. Huh. So that's something to think about. Do they have a black cat? Duh, yeah. that one's obvious. That one is. And the last thing to look for: does their milk always spoil? <laughs> like. Day of? Yeah, like I don't know. Immediately? You may, they may just be really bad at looking after their milk, or they might be a great witch. So <laughs> a great witch can't keep milk from spoiling. Really? Apparently. They just spoil like that. Like so, while they're checking out, it just mm-hmm. curdled. Yep. Just like that. <laughs> so that's one of the things you could look for in a witch. They probably just drink a lot of buttermilk. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And then <laughs> could they'll be, never yeah. know. Hey, Cam, did you know that most subscription boxes are full of samples and junk you'll never use? Yeah, but not BattleBox. It's the monthly subscription box for men full of solid gear for adventure seekers, survivalists, outdoor enthusiasts, and casual preppers. Each month, BattleBox sends you the coolest selection of hand-picked outdoor survival and everyday carry gear, all valued at far more than what you normally pay. You never know what's in the next box, but here's a sampling of what users received this month. The Wagon Tech Ion Boost Slim Jump Starter Slash Charger. Very cool product. And then how about that Lord and Field Fortel Fisherman Knife? Yeah. It's the weirdest knife I've seen in my life. Instagrammed it. Yeah, it's crazy. Go check out the video that Cam put up. Really cool. All this badassness starts at about 30 bucks a month. They've shipped almost a million boxes and one best men's subscription box of 2017. Our listeners get a free tactical knife when you sign up at trybattlebox.com slash casual preppers. That is trybattlebox.com slash casual preppers. Get your first battle box plus a free tactical knife at trybattlebox.com slash casual preppers. Sounds like a freaking easy yeah. peasy deal. Yeah, you wanna you wanna be prepped for witches? Oh, you've got something in there, guarantee. Guarantee you're gonna be fine. Guarantee. So anyways. witches guide. I hope there is one in there one of these times. Let's talk about, um, you know, some of these modern-day witches. Let's talk about some of these encounters that people have had with witches. Um, one thing I do want to say, though, um, the Christian Post back in 2013, so this is a while ago, um, they said that there are more than 200,000 people who have declared themselves witches in the United States alone. That does not surprise me because yeah. for how populated we are, people are weird. But they actually say <laughs> up to as many as 8 million undeclared practitioners of the craft exist. Ooh. That's a lot. That's a lot of people. Did you know that this makes sorcery the second fastest growing religion in the United oh States? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> After Islam. Wow. So that is a thing. <clears throat> sorcery. Right so I, I read the story about a woman, uh, a, a witch, named Tower. <laughs> Her name was Tower. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she was raised an Episcopalian, just, you know, you know, all-American girl, Episcopalian. Yeah. Um, but she turned to witchcraft in 1989 um, after she enrolled in a correspondence course on witchery. She joined a coven operating under the radar in the Garden State. So a coven is basically like a like a church, but for witches type thing, right? It's a bunch of witches that band together. Um, she a had a hot coven. Yeah, mm. she, cooking in the coven. <laughs> mm, yeah, kissing covens. Um, <laughs> she had a husband at the time, but told told her that the marriage was a horror show and they slept separately. Um, so you know the coven kind of had an answer for kind of horror had to show. Do. Yeah. Well, H-O-R-R-O-R. H-O-R-R-R. Yeah. Not, horror show. Not whore. One night she said, I went outside. Um, underneath the biggest, brightest full moon I've ever seen, I called on the goddess. Felt the energy flowing through me. My kids even asked <laughs> why my face was glowing, she said. 
Um, <clears throat> so apparently the coven members were pushed by high priests and high priestesses to divorce spouses who were not in the craft and urge them to fool around with fellow witches. Yeah. So that's like a free love type of thing, they said. You know I what I mean? I saw a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Um, she said, I did not believe that I was worshiping Satan, but now I realize I was deceived. I believe it was the spiritual deception of the devil used to defeat people. It all came crashing down after Tower was kicked out of the non-denominational church of which she had been a member. She get, Listen to this. She got so angry, she put a vanishing spell on the pastor. <laughs> all right? She's just like, well, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm Boom, you're gone. Yeah. A month later, she learned that her spell worked. The pastor was retiring and moving out of the state. <laughs> so vanish. Yeah. Vanish you. Yeah, so that's that's one story of a modern-day witch that was kind of interesting. That's an interesting one. Yeah. Mine's pretty interesting. Is it good? <laughs> yeah. Total. I mean, it doesn't sound like a young kid wrote this at all. <laughs> when I was younger in my teens, so it wasn't, mm -hmm. but he might have been, we moved into a house in Torrance, California. When we first moved there... There were events that were weird, like lights going off and on, vases, mm. vases, vases were mysteriously thrown from stands mm. where they were broken. My bed would shake as if it were a really big earthquake, and I'd run to my parents, and mm. there was no earthquake. <laughs> so some weird crap was happening. Yeah, sure. One night, me and my brother shared rooms. We went to bed, and the next day, there was a hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> my dad yelled at us and asked us, how the crap, how'd you make that hole in the wall? <laughs> my brother told then told me later, I guess after they got beaten or something, mm -hmm. that the witch appeared in the room, came through the hole, and she oh. talked to my brother and told him, if you tell anybody, I'll kill you. What? That's all. I don't know what the purpose was. Oh. Also, we found a witchcraft book and the witch's husband's wooden ankle. What? Yeah. This. They found a wooden ankle? Yeah. Oh, uh, Apparently, okay. like up in the attic. Oh, Okay. They would they would hear this wooden ankle walking in the attic. Oh my god! And one day, my dad decided to move the ceiling access. Uh huh. And when he opened it up, the witchcraft book and wooden ankle fell out. So there was some wooden witch ankle. That is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Why a wooden ankle? I don't know. I don't know, but it's scary. He's walking around you, up there. You never. You don't want to happen upon a wooden ankle. <laughs> yeah. In I don't know attic. if it was. Maybe like a Dutch shoe. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's was what I'm, a wooden I'm ankle. wondering. Like that's weird. <laughs> I don't know. Interesting. But that was a real good story. Yeah. So what I'm worried about and what I'm wondering is what do I do if I happen upon like a witch or like if I feel like I've had a spell cast yeah. upon me in some way? Yep. What the what do I do? Well, this is what we do best as casual uh -huh. preppers <laughs> is teach you how yeah. to prevent yeah. and stay alive. Okay. So first thing, mm. say you do <laughs> say you know that you've had a spell <laughs> Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Keep going. Say that you know you have a spell put on put on you. Maybe you're fatigued all the time. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe you've got erectile dysfunction. Some <laughs> something some spell has been cast upon. It could you. be mono. So I have taken upon myself. Yeah. To write down and give you guys three spells. You don't even have to search you're a for witch them. doctor. Man. I know. <laughs> So this one's called reverse spell. Simple as that. <laughs> Is this like the reverse card in Uno? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Suck it. Basically. Take that, witch. Okay, so you take two small mirrors, night, w conveniently if they're on stands. Oh, it's better if they're on stands. One black candle, sandalwood incense. Well, I know. love sandalwood. Yeah. So you light the incense and let the smoke build up around your altar. Oh, you have to have an altar? Yeah, but a lot of times oh. people just use their bathroom. Oh, their bathroom. <laughs> Can I do it in my car? You, well, Yeah, your console's a great altar. <laughs> okay, I got like the cup holders and I could put the... Yeah, yeah, you could. could put them you in could. the cup holders. But there's an inconvenience at the end, I'll oh, tell you. The, okay. Carve a deep X into the candle. <laughs> you now have to set up the two mirrors so yeah. they face each other and the candle's in the middle so that it looks like it goes on forever. Oh, yeah, yeah, like the infinity. Yes, thing. exactly. Okay, yeah. Um, so it should look like repeating candles. Light the candle, let your eyes focus back and forth between <laughs> the mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> or in my case, I can look at both at the same <laughs> time. That's like, what are you going to do? Um, Wait, what if you get dizzy? I would get dizzy doing that. You would that. get dizzy, but that might feel like the. So it's a lot. It's, it's a lot like looking at like the Magic Eye 3D art, is what you're saying. Exactly. Just like that. But, yep. I wonder if you could use so that. So you look back of the and candles. forth at the mirrors yeah. and you repeat the words The magic upon me be trapped this <laughs> night between these mirrors, never see light. <laughs> Okay. Repeat the chant over and over yeah. and visualize the curse becoming entangled in the reflections and sent oh. back to the sender. 
Let the candle burn down on its own, but leave the mirrors facing each other for a month. For one month? Yeah. <laughs> Good Lord, I don't have time for this. And this is way better if you do it right at midnight. Oh, oh right obviously, at midnight. Obviously, obviously. Okay. Okay, so there's there's one. Wash <laughs> it away. And maybe oh. you just want to take a bath and get rid of bad yeah, that spells. W- seems like easier. So you need 12 white candles. That's easy. Storage prep. You probably already have them. You probably have them, yeah. One black, dark, purple candle. I don't oh, know where gonna, you get that. I'm going to have to figure that one out. One cup of coarse salt. Mm-hmm. One t- one tablespoon of lavender blossom. Blossoms. Oh, okay. So you got to get the full mm-hmm. on plant. Okay. One tablespoon of white sage. Not green. Okay. One tablespoon sage. of chamomile. Mm-hmm. You can go liberal with herbs, you know, when you're yeah. making this. You, you, can really... do a, you can do quite a bit, actually. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So perform the spell. At on the night after a full moon for best results. So, so not the night of the full moon. It's no, the you got to wait day. after. Okay. On your altar, make a circle with 12 white candles. <laughs> Put the black one in the middle. Don't light them just yet. Run Put a the, hot bath. This, add the salts and herbs. Okay. Your wife might come in and be like, oh. <laughs> Wait, is it is it Friday? Get out of here. I'm trying to get rid of them. Is it that curse. day of the month? <laughs> now, like <laughs> that day. It's not our anniversary. Is that our, is that our Yeah. <laughs> Now light the candles and get in the bath. Get comfortable and repeat the following. By the light <laughs> these, these <laughs> By the light of moon's wane, cleanse my soul of this stain. Let the spell be reversed. Lift away this dark curse. As I enter sacred space, return return my soul to grace. Pour some bath water over your head, keep your eyes closed. <laughs> Herbs burn like a mother. And do this three times. I forgive what was done. Let the spell be undone. Stay in the bath till the water cools off. And when you get out, snuff out the candles, but leave them in the circle for three nights. Three nights? Good. I feel like it's just, just some guy that made these like, oh, I can clean that crap up. <laughs> I'll do it later. I I'll, get, got time to, for I'll this. get to that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll, after the third night, relight the black candle, let it burn all the way out. Okay. Anyway. Wait, it says for the next three nights, relight them all and repeat oh, the second say part all? of the chant. Oh, man, I screwed it up. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So you got to repeat this. Yeah, for the next, for the next three, three nights. nights. Then relight, and then let the third candle, the black, or the th- on the third night, let the black candle burn all the way out. Oh, my gosh. Kind of a little complicated. This one's probably the easiest. I don't know if I want to do, get a black flame candle. No. It brings this back one, the Sanderson sisters. if it were me, I yeah. would do this one. This okay. one's by far the easiest. Okay. The clean break spell. Oh, yeah. Awesome. So good, a good symbolic break can do wonders to snap a negative spell against you. Okay. So you need a dry tree branch, obviously. <laughs> like, fresh ones are hard to break. Yeah. About 18 inches. Yeah, you got to let it dry. The yeah, green ones are a, tough. A good amount. Yeah. Uh, black yarn or ribbon. Kay. Two safety pins. Mm. And I don't know what vetiver or agrimony leaves. Mm-hmm. Anyway, mm-hmm. look those up. Okay. Any type of wood will do, but the branch needs to be dry enough that it'll break when you bend it. Sure. So, yeah. the night before, wrap black yarn a few times around each end of the stick. Okay. And as you wind the yarn, wrap your herbs in it. Oh, okay. Then yeah. attach a safety, p- safety pin at the end to hold the yarn. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. When the stick's done, leave it on your altar overnight. Mm-hmm. I, we're going to have to get altars. We know. I know. The next day, can you pick get an up, altar on Amazon? I bet you can. <laughs> the next day, pick up the stick, holding the yarn covered ends with your hand, and say loudly, I break your spell, you're broken. Boom! <laughs> That's it? That's it. Oh, gosh, I could but do that. carry two pieces of sticks around with you for three days to remove any ongoing spells. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> so you got sense. six inches of stick with yarn on them sticking oh, out of you. Oh, Oh, you can get an altar. Oh, oh can you? Yeah, you can get, you can get your So anyways, an that altar. one's way simple. Just wrap yarn around a stick with herbs in it, Uh huh. and then you snap it the next morning. I yeah. break your spell, you're broken. <laughs> and then carry those two sticks. Is um, that a stick in your pants to break the spell, or are you happy to see me? Yeah, you can get you can get an altar for about 50 bucks if you need it. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, and you get your Don't use your bathroom. Yeah. Don't clutter it up. Just have an altar somewhere. Yeah, there's several types of altars. You can get an altar shelf. There's actually altar supplies. <laughs> Like there's like all these there's altar cloths you can. Do get. they have an altar with drawers that have the herb? Like you can put the herb. Altar in? cabinet. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Altar cabinet. They've got those as well. That's a good idea. Um, I wonder what kind of altar supplies you can get because that just seems like the way to go. Oh, you can get spell candles, forty and one for eight bucks. Whoa. Oof, they're all different uh, flavors and whatnot. Flavors or colors? Wait, same. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> well, wax has flavor. I'm eating the lips. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Man, yeah, there's lots of good stuff on Amazon. Oh, cool. there's, there's one. Uh, moon, Amazon's like a supporter of witchcraft. Yeah, moon covered for twenty five bucks. You, yeah, we you're all gonna do that, good. Man. Yeah, so that's great. Cool, that's great. Cool. So, what other kind of things? So, these are things you can just have around to protect yourself from witches. Okay, one yeah. for them avoiding them getting in your house, sure, or even getting close enough to you. 
to uh, yeah. to cast a spell on you. So, which balls? <laughs> which balls are you talking about? <laughs> which witch's balls? So okay. these aren't like the actual balls of witch, because yeah. obviously, yeah, obviously, <laughs> that would be ridiculous. So these were actually used a ton, and they're and you can see them in photos of like 17th and 18th century Europe. You can get yeah. witch balls. Yeah, on there Amazon. you go. Look how fancy those ones. Yeah, are. you can get fancy. They're witch beautiful balls. looking. Yeah. So they're a shiny ball mm-hmm. that actually back when they first started using them, they were like a floater for fishing, like a big like glass a bulb. Bubble. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Anyways, get them all shined up, shiny. Mm-hmm. Um, some are filled with water, salts. Sure. And anyways, the folk tales are that these witch balls entice evil spirits with their bright colors. Oh. The strands inside the ball would then capture the spirit and prevent it from escaping. So if the witch oh, cool. gets near or she won't go near it because it'll pull these spirits that help yeah. her into it. Another tradition holds that the witch balls or spherical mirrors prevent a witch from being in a room because witches supposedly did not have a reflection or could oh. not bear seeing their own. So I wonder if I could just get like a witch ball to put on my zipper, like a zipper pull. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> just have if I were to carry time. one, I'd clip it to your belt. Oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. One on each side. <laughs> it'd be perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These are witch balls. What do you want? <laughs> um, another hmm. variation contends the witch balls were used to avert the evil eye. So oh, okay. the evil eye, it, it just stares at it. Yeah. And and it's so fixated on that shiny ball. Sure, yeah. That it can't look at you and give you all the evil stuff. So, okay. Which balls? Makes sense. Which bottles? Pretty oh. much similar. They, they're they usually filled with weird crap. Like, mm-hmm. for example, charms and witch's urine. So I don't know how you're going to oh, get that. Yeah. I conveniently could just have patients, you know, I'm going to do a test on your urine. I don't need to and do And then, boom, test. I yeah. put it in a witch bottle. Okay. Nail or hair clippings from the witch. <laughs> That's disgusting. Yeah, it's really gross. Uh, when the flask was buried, the witch's spell was canceled, and the witch was purported to be put in agony. Oh, cool. Kind of like the cake. A lot a lot like the cake, yeah. yeah. The bottles were sometimes thrown into the fire, and when they exploded, the spell's broken or the witch would die. Either way, I'm good. Yeah. And so sometimes you'll see these in, in Europe hanging above chimneys and stuff. So mm, Cool. A witch's box, or witch boxes. <laughs> right, hello. 16th and 17th <laughs> centuries. Witch boxes were popular ward, wards against witches. Yeah. They were made up of a, a small wooden box full of pieces of human bone. You know, you can get that anywhere. Yeah. Herbs, Amazon, bits maybe? of rowan, <laughs> and other odds and ends, which a spell of protection had been cast. I feel like my drunk drawer is probably you, yeah. as good it's gonna as be good any enough. of this. It's got bones it's in gonna there. It's going to be good enough. <laughs> witch hunters frequently sold witch boxes as they journeyed, journeyed from village to village. Mm, that kind cool. of whipped up the old uh, hysteria. I'm sure it did. A wolf's head. Oh. So if you kill a wolf, Keep you the just head. put the head... You know, that'd be sweet. You put it on, like, the end of a staff. That would be the coolest thing. That would be way better. You know, like a walking staff. Or, or a chain link fence. Or a cha- yeah, a chain link fence. Or just, just like, a next couple to the of them chimes. on a chain link fence would help. Wind chime type thing. Yeah. That'd be cool. So you've talked about urine. Urine's mm. actually a huge thing that they used. And um, still. It's, They're still it's using still it. very useful. Yeah. So uh, wizards and cunning women <laughs> and men <laughs> yeah. use urine for diagnosing and curing illnesses caused by witchcraft. Ah. Uh, boiling a person's urine helps determine if and how bewitchment has occurred. Urine is then used to uh, to affect cures, You usually be by boiling, baking, burying, or throwing in upon a fire. I mean, mm. I piss on a fire all the time when too. I'm camping, and yeah. I'm getting rid of all kinds of bad omens. Anne Green, a witch, or um, she was a cunning woman yeah, of England, said in 1654 that she cured headaches caused by bewitchment by putting a clipping of the human or the victim's hair in his own urine, boiling it, and throwing it in the fire. Sounds like it would work. Yeah. I don't Put know your hair in here, p- pee in that bottle. Mm-hmm. Boom. Done. Cured. Boiling urine has said to cure nephritis, so mm. other Very remedies. Cool. Um, yeah, I won't read those other ones. Okay. So iron. Okay. Iron, uh, you know, clean, hold, cold, hold, hold, gold, cold. <laughs> you got a witch's spell on you. I do. We gotta get That's some why I can't talk. <laughs> we got to get some candles. I cast, can't spell. Can't they re- they well, know actually, you can't chant. I can something. spell. I just can't talk. They know you're not going to be able to chant the spell. <laughs> right. <laughs> witch's <laughs> altars falters. <laughs> ah. Stammering all over the now place. Now you just cursed yourself. You just made it worse. Yeah. So iron's believed to be one of the top charms against evil spirits, demons, sorcerers, mm. witches. Um, European folklore says witches cannot pass over cold iron. Really? So burying an iron knife under your doorstep will ensure no witches will ever <laughs> enter your house. That's a good idea. So a turd knife or whatever, yeah. just bury it. Just bury it. Piss in some on it first. 
<laughs> yeah, for guaranteed. <laughs> in some areas, iron was used to protect entire villages. Jeez. Iron was also considered a choice ward against malicious fairies. Oh, jeez. Not like normal fairies, but malicious yeah. fairies. Yeah. So iron was a popular metal for creation of amulets, which protected against the evil eye, bad luck, danger, evil spirits, and witches. Dang. So in Wales, it's believed that if, that fairy wives would vanish when touched with iron. There's a story of a young man um, at last wine, winning? winning winning a fairy maid, but she told him if he ever struck her with iron, she would go away and never return. That Which, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Iron cast iron across the head. Yeah. She ain't coming. <laughs> it's not happening. So this is my favorite, the hagstone. I Ooh. really want to have one. Okay. A hagstone is a stone with a hole in it hung yeah. in stables and homes to keep away witches or hags at night. If hung on a bedpost, it protected the sleeper from having a hag ride one's chest and <laughs> causing a nightmare. What? <laughs> oh, you can give them on Amazon. Hung in the stable, it prevented witches from riding horses all night to exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, you can get you a hagstone for like 15 bucks on Amazon. No nope, kidding. For real, look. Hagstone. Oh, yeah, see? Mm -hmm. It just looks like a <laughs> rock with a hole in it. <laughs> That's what it is. But if you don't want a hag riding your chest at night. That's a good idea. Causing nightmares. Yeah. Get one around your okay. bedpost. Good idea. Brass. Brass is another um, another metal that people thought would, would mm -hmm. keep witches away. <clears throat> Gemstones. Mm -hmm. Candles, obviously. Yeah. Both could be used for and against witches. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, charms. So this was interesting. Um, Germany had the most witch accusations and killings. Like Germany did. Huh? Germany. Oh, interesting. And Ireland had the least oh. charms. My lucky charms. My lucky charms kept us <laughs> safe from the witches. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so cocks. Huh? Roosters. Roosters. All right. Since... It said, you know, in the Bible, and the rooster crowed three times, and Peter denied Jesus. <clears throat> sure. And it also crowed, you know, at his death. They are apparently good at warding off spirits. Oh, I do didn't know that. you have a cock that. running around at your house? I don't. Just no, a hen. Just a hens. You need to get a cock. I do. They piss humans off for centuries, they too. They do. That's the reason I don't have one. <laughs> My neighbors. So not only do they uh, um, ward off spirits, they ward off humans. Yeah, And absolutely. neighbors. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's it. That's awesome. I mean, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, witches are scary, and we've told you mm -hmm. right here, clear as day, yep. a few spells you can, and you, a few things. So get, you can get find some them. iron, bury a knife, mm -hmm. piss all over the house. Piss on everything. <laughs> urine, urine everywhere. That's what I've learned from today. <laughs> Boil it, burn it. Yeah. Candles, Pee urine. Pee bottles, hang them. Mm-hmm. Balls, stones, specifically. <laughs> stones, balls, cocks, all those types of things. <laughs> This is what I've heard. Get a rooster, yeah. Get mm -hmm. a rooster, and then junk drawers. Just you know, yeah, make seal off that box. This should ought to keep you safe throughout the the Halloween holiday. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. Also, importantly, yeah. There's one other thing. Okay. If you're a casual prepper, I outdoor adventurer, or survivalist, all of those, you need a survival box subscription. Already got it. Could have some witchcraft stuff in it. It could, hopefully. Survival Box is the only monthly subscription box packed with the practical survival gear, 15 mm -hmm. to 25 year shelf life, storable meals, survival water, or filtration, whew, supplies. <laughs> a monthly survival. That one got out of hand. Yeah, I got was, it back though. But you veered her back on. <laughs> survival knowledge card. And even non GMO heirloom seeds for your survival garden. Starting at just $29 per month, there are many different boxes to choose from. That will cater to your outdoor adventuring style, lifestyle, or casual prepping plan. Subscribe today, everybody. Mm -hmm. And every month, Survival Boxes will send you the survival gear and supplies you need to stay survived. Your Survival Boxes value are always more than the Amazon cart values. Mm -hmm. No sample products, no contracts, cancel whenever. Use promo code CASUALPREPPERS for 10% off your first box on any monthly subscription box. Uh, Casual Peppers listeners also receive free one amp USB solar panel. Mm -hmm. Don't even it's that's outside the box. It is with battery bank flashlight in your first survival box. Subscribe today, survivalboxes.com. Get you going. Get you one, guys. Go Seriously. get you. Get you. Get you. Get you. Get it. 
thanks, guys. We appreciate you hanging around, and we know this is silly, but it's fun to do. Yeah. Um, it's only one month we get to be silly. Yeah, then we're dead we're serious like, after you know, that. Straight as an arrow the rest of the year. Right. So uh, thank you, guys. Make sure you're subscribed to the podcast wherever you're listening to these podcasts. Make sure you tell your friends. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's getting hot in there. I'll tell you, the YouTube channel is just popping. <laughs> Popping, you know what I mean? We've made a lot of friends and <laughs> yeah. made a lot of uh, enemies. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, thank you guys, and we'll see you next time.